All right, we're in uh, Central Tacoma here, South Central Tacoma for this Victorian style duplex that came on the market. It's, it's vacant units, we'll go inside in a minute, but just kind of want to walk and show you the outside. It's been painted, but probably still the, all the original siding for sure. Um, some newer windows. Uh, I don't think the gutters are working too great. It's been raining and it's dripping from the corner there. And there's nothing coming out here and you don't even want it to come to the base of the property. Looks like you might have crawl space access there. Not a lot back here for client or clients, tenants to enjoy. Um, you do have a sewer clean out. We like to see that. Access to a basement space. Probably pretty dark and grungy in there. Um, not a lot to maintain. And uh, you can't even access this side of the property. So I don't even know how they painted that. That's unbelievable. You got to see this, Rebecca. I don't know how they got back there and painted it. They've got like six inches of clearance. None of the gutters are attached or working. So somebody kind of dropped the ball when they painted. They didn't like address the gutter situation. Um, this is priced at 800,000. I think that's a little steep. We don't see many duplexes with this size. This many bedrooms come up very often though. So I'm sure they're trying to attract to the potential higher rents for four, four bedrooms, but I don't even know if they're really true four bedrooms. I'll be surprised. We'll take a look when we go inside, but I'm guessing that the rooms are very small, um, barely enough to fit a twin bed in most. So main entry, let's go on inside and take a look. Come into the first unit here. These are both listed as four beds. I kind of question if you're gonna really use it as a four bed because it's a very old property, over a hundred years old, I'm guessing. And it's got the tall ceilings, which are really cool, a lot of character. Got some slant, which is very common in these older Tacoma properties. You know, something interesting to note is you've got a newer door here, new handle, but then you've got the original. This looks original. It's been painted over 20 times probably, even the knobs. Pretty beat. It's a it's original door. Um, and come on in. The kitchen's been updated a little bit. It's nice. These huge tall ceilings people will appreciate, but it's going to have a lot of quirky things being an older property. Bedroom with washer dryer in there. Sorry, bathroom, thank you. Um, and then the bedrooms, they do have newer windows, so those have been updated, not throughout the whole property, but at least in the bedrooms, double pane. It's another very small, I mean, you're, you're barely gonna get a twin bed in here, so it's more like an office. I would probably consider this three bed with an office den-ish. And, uh, you know, t plenty of clearance, some newer flooring throughout. Um, not sure what the electrical, the plumbing's like. I do see grounded outlets, but that doesn't mean things are grounded. So just keep that in mind. Then we come on up to the second unit, which has its own entrance, right? That's the main entry down there. I do like this one a little bit better because it's, it's obviously the top unit. And you come into here, there's like a, the kitchen and the living space. I just like the flow better and it's very open. Um, has a new, looks like a new oven range and fridge. Some closets there, baseboard heating. Again, some couple newer windows. These are original, right? These are painted over. You're never opening these up anytime soon. Tall ceilings with some kind of classic looking fixtures. Watch your step. And then again, your bedroom situation. This one actually has another half, half bath or, oh, full bath. So it's two, ba two full bath in this one upstairs, which pretty good for how many bedrooms you're trying to accomplish. There's a three quarter, I'm sorry, so it's one and three quarter. And then again, really small bedrooms, really small. So there you have it. We'll run some numbers if you're interested.